Listen, pal, I reckon we should keep this between the two of us. I'm hearing that a lot today. Mr. Ridge was up in front of the committee today. They're planning on charging him with gross negligence. If it goes public, it could really hurt his case. Speaking of which, I'd better go. I've got a vouch for him. How's Edgeworth coping? Not well. But most of the questions seem to be relating back to the SL9 incident. That's something else I'm hearing a lot about. What is SL9? Something you really shouldn't bother about. SL9 was a dark time for the police department. It's been buried in the past and no good will come from digging it up. Detective Goodman thought it was worth digging up. Yeah, look where you ended up. Later, pal. How goes it? Not bad, but nothing too unusual though. There are large traces of blood next to this locker that have been wiped away, but that's what you'd expect at a murder scene. I was just about to try and get a fingerprint from this bloody handprint. What about the things that have fallen out of the locker? We'd better leave them until we've done the forensic stuff. They might have traces on them too. Here, spray some further down. We don't want to miss anything. Sure. No luck in this print. Whoever made it must have been wearing gloves. Hey, I think I've got something. It's another handprint, but there's no reason for there to be one here. One of the fingerprints looks quite whole. Do you reckon we can get a clear print? Well, let's hope so. This could be our last chance to find a lead. There, a clean image. Thank God for that. Now we need to identify it. How do we do that? I'll take it over to the forensic department. They'll have a complete database of everyone who works there. Well, let's just hope it was someone from the police department. First, let's have a look at the things over there on the floor. Looks like something broke when it fell out. The pieces are quite big, so it should be easy enough to put back together. What's this? Maybe the forensic team left it behind. No, it's got an evidence tag. Emma, look. SL9? Wherever this case goes, the SL9 incident seems to keep cropping up. But whatever dark secrets that case holds, I don't think we can hope to know what's really going on here without knowing what they are. Where are you going? To see someone who can tell me more. Okay, I'll head over to the forensic department and get that fingerprint checked. And I'll take these home with me. Okay, see you in court tomorrow. Bye, Mr. Wright. Haven't you ever heard of knocking? Sorry. Look, Edgeworth, I need you to tell me something. So you're looking into our cell night. How did you know that? Because you're not an idiot, Phoenix Wright. Like me, you've noticed all the connections to SL9 that this current case has. Another one's just turned up. Goodman's locker was open during the evidence room incident, and all the evidence in there was from SL9. That's no surprise, because Goodman was in charge of that case. He was? It's just one coincidence too many, isn't it? There's something else, Edgeworth. I saw the list of who entered the evidence room on the day of the murder. Your ID number was on it. You entered the evidence room barely an hour before the murder happened. You still don't really trust me, do you, right? It's not like that. I have to get any information I can. I was in there at the police chief's request. He wanted some evidence moved to the prosecutor's office. What evidence was that? Just this. A screwdriver? You can relax. It's nothing to do with this case or even SL9. But why move it? Chief Gant was never one to explain himself properly. Really? Seemed like an open sort of person to me. Only to his favourite attorney. That was a cheap shot. Look, can we get down to business? I really want to get this over with. Have it your own way. Look, I just want you to tell me anything you can about the SL9 incident. Okay, but I'm going to warn you, I don't know the full picture. The SL9 case involved a vicious serial killer called Joe Dark. I'm not sure who the earlier victims were because I wasn't involved in the case from the start. It was only when the prosecutor in charge became a victim that I was involved. You're joking. I'm not the joking type, right? Nonetheless, we got our guilty verdict. Joe Dark was executed. 
But isn't that good? Justice was served. Not exactly. You see, rumors began to arise after that trial. Falsified evidence had been used. No one knew where they came from. But everyone involved with the case was suddenly under heavy scrutiny. If truth be told, I did use slightly more extreme methods than usually in handling that case. But you didn't. Of course not. I didn't touch the evidence. I will do anything in my power to win a trial, but I have a code which I will follow to the end. And the head of the investigation was then the deputy chief of police, Damon Ghent. The most brilliant mind in the police force. Believe me, no forgery was committed. So that's why the committee was asking about SL9. Because they think you have a history of tampering with evidence. The fact is that once the rumors started, it's nearly impossible to get rid of. There were still those on the committee who liked to keep an eye on me. Fortunately, this time, they decided to treat it not as a case of concealing evidence, but of miscommunication. They were very generous of them. And they took the investigation out of my hands. Now all investigations are being conducted by the police department alone. All I can do is wait for the results. Well, you could always polish your trophy. That thing, I'd just you know, throw it out, it's got no meaning to me. You know, it used to have a sword motif on it, right? Really? What happened to it? I don't know. But to me, the fact that it was lost is a sign of how little this trophy means anymore. They gave it the image of a broken shield, a broken sword to symbolize the contradiction and the prosecutor's duty to eradicate them, to write the truth by any means possible. But that's the problem, Edgeworth. You're not willing to go to any means to find the truth. Not if you have to relive SL9. These cases are related, and if we're going to find the truth, we will have to examine SL9 at much closer quarters. It's amusing, isn't it, right? The fact that you're so enthralled by SL9, and I want to get rid of it. See you in court tomorrow, Edgeworth. Should be interesting. Morning. Did the fingerprint turn up any results? Yeah, but I've got more news. I went back to the car park last night and sprayed some luminol around the place. And? Well, there were traces of blood, but much less than you'd expect for a stab wound. So, what does that mean? Right now, I'm not sure. Oh, and I got to work on those broken fragments. It seemed like they used to be a jar of some kind. Okay, so what about the fingerprint? Well, there was a match on the database. And? Who was it? It might have been there by accident. Maybe, but we can't let that stop us from presenting it. Well, he's not a murderer. We have to play the cards we're dealt. That's all we can do. The court is now in session for the trial of Lana Skye. The defence is ready, Your Honour. The prosecution is still somewhat puzzled, Your Honour. Mr. Edgeworth? Detective Bruce Goodman was apparently slain in two places at the same time. And seeing as we've already investigated the incident at the car park, I suggest we move on to the police department's incident. Hmm. What is the defence's opinion? The defence agrees, Your Honour. Very well, Mr. Edgeworth. You may proceed. The prosecution called the suspect to the murder at the police department. Fasten your seatbelts. 